In order to truly understand our healing technology, let's go back to the drawing board to look at how your body really mechanically works. Since humanity has been so deeply integrated to technology and the transhumanistic agenda, let's look at the body like a machine. Not like some simple machine, with over a trillion cells working together to perform thousands of functions daily. We're talking about a supercomputer. The human body is actually an electromagnetic mobile device, believe it or not. Let's look at how it functions, how it is powered, how it's designed to be activated and awakened, and how it is designed to be serviced to prevent damage and prolong optimal performance. Unlike your computer or phone, you only get one of these devices. If taken care of properly, that's all you need. That's how amazing our divine technology is in all of its complexity and brilliance. I trust that by the end of this journey, you'll see that without a doubt, you have been given the most state-of-the-art divine technology, and your journey exploring what it can do is just beginning. Now, in order to do this, let's create an avatar of our divine electromagnetic supercomputer slash human being. We'll call him Jake. My son actually came up with that name, so we'll just go with it. To really get the totality of our tech avatar, we really should go all the way back to when it's brand new and first powers up. No, not that far. Let's start from when we first power up and begin recording content. From the moment we are born, our consciousness is recording. How, you ask? Your consciousness experience is a chemical process meaning your device is designed to chemically record everything that you feel and everything that you physically do in your avatar. And it is logged into the chemical memory of your body throughout a 24 hour day. Seven days a week, 365 days a year for your entire life. This chemical accumulation of life experiences is similar to the accumulation of bacteria and plaque from using your mouth slash consumption device to consume fuel for your vehicle daily. Born into the physical realm from energy, consciousness is always directing the form, but is instantly stimulated in a five sense reality that begins conditioning you right from the trauma of your birth. This is your dad. This is your mom. Oh, and all the mommy daddy issues. Hey, just because your parents had kids didn't mean they worked all their trauma and stress out. So their trauma and stress becomes your trauma and stress along with the kid who picked on you in fourth grade and on and on. Then comes the indoctrination of the world This is a cat, this is a dog, this is a fork, this is a screwdriver, this is black, this is white, this is science, this is God. Now add in the transhumanistic movement to indoctrinate and integrate technology into all culture and society on a global level. Everything about our reality gets defined. Especially in institutionalized education systems, which most of us have gone through. This is a great segue point to introduce a word we're going to use a lot in referencing this chemical residue that comes from the avatar experience of being human and all that comes with it. That word is Strama. What is Strama? The avatar accumulates stress daily in the human experience. 
as well as event-based traumas over time in service to you, the user. It can be broken down in this simple equation. Stress plus trauma plus time equals trauma. Just as a general daily maintenance of your mouth from daily usage is required to maintain oral hygiene, so too is a general daily maintenance of physical palpation and stimulation to the body's tissue to release it from accumulation and activate it to heal itself. So we got the memo as a collective for oral hygiene. Why didn't we get the memo for what seems to be a very important body chemical hygiene that produces far more damaging results from being neglected? Body brushing and flossing? Question mark? That's what the science says. The human body is designed to be touched, to move all this strama that over time weights you down. The weight of the world on your shoulders, quite literally. It's heavy news, I know, literally. Well, have no fear. Your supercomputer is designed for this process and actually has an app for that. That's right. There's a program on your hard drive that is specifically designed to analyze your system for damages or compromises. Now this program only requires one thing to activate it in your avatar technology. Requires the user to engage it through stimulation or touch. This is the very principle of your homeopathy and your healing homeopathic technology. Let's look at the science behind your tech without getting too complicated. Your avatar body is electromagnetic, which means it has to have a power source. Since our avatar tech is made primarily of water, that makes us piezoelectric in our battery system. That means our battery is solution-based, and that solution has three potential states. It can steal electrons, it can give electrons, or it can be neutral. Here's some basic specs for our avatar device in case you weren't familiar. Our divine tech has a millivolt charge that is actually how our pH balance is determined. Plus 500 millivolts equals zero completely acidic. Negative 500 millivolts equals 14, which is completely alkaline. Negative 25 millivolts equals 3.4 to 3.5, which is pH balanced, which is the pH balance of healthy cell tissue. Our healthy avatar is operating at negative 25 millivolts. Growing avatar cellular tissue would require a millivolts charge of negative 50. So, we have a negative 50 millivolts charge to create the energy to regenerate new cells. And our device requires the proper base nutrients and material components to regenerate and build cellular tissue. In review, we need both energy and raw materials to build or regenerate our divine temple or avatar supercomputer. And strama, which is stress plus trauma plus time, collects in our body and compromises our device's optimal operation, which translates to our quality of life. All that strama collects in the body and affects the millivolt charge of the device to go down 
which compromises the cell production. All chronic disease comes from the body's inability to continue producing cells. Here's some cellular production statistics for your mobile electronic device. The macula of your eye is only 48 hours old. Your digestive system is only three weeks old. The skin currently on your avatar is only six weeks old. Your liver is only eight weeks old. All of the parts in our device are constantly taking on wear and tear and requiring to regenerate new cells. You're in luck. You have an app for that. This is where general daily service and maintenance to your device is required for optimal performance. There are many active practices we could do to move the body and stimulate our electron battery charge. But this is still a form of stress on the body. Which brings us to the more passive regenerative practices that come in, including the spiritual sciences of yoga and the East. There are several ancient practices that humans cultivated to activate our battery charge. All the Eastern spiritual sciences have now scientifically been documented to activate the inner physician or inner healer or application we've been exploring on this journey. I 100% support you to explore them all. I've even created multiple online platforms for you to learn and practice them. They will change your life. Not open or interested? That's okay. Your technology is so well designed, you can charge the electrons in your body just by touching and stimulating your tissue yourself. That's how integral touch is in your vehicle or device's operation, maintenance, and power supply. Remember, there's no warranty for our devices. We only get one. I trust this breakdown and exploration into your divine technology has really helped for you to truly see how powerful you are, or at least could be. And also, a powerful look into all of this knowledge and wisdom around your technology that has been kept from you until being introduced at this point. How different would your life, would your health, would your wellness, would your human experience have been had you learned all of this when you were just starting out as a new device? Something to think about. And remember, now you know, there's an app for that. <laughs>